I really love Sonic games. No, seriously. I know my avatar is Sonic right now, but that's because I haven't made my OC yet, so just bear with me, guys. But I love Sonic the Hedgehog, guys. Literally, it's from back from when he was in the 1900s. Now, to he's a smirky, modern little hedgehog. Now, it just makes me so happy to finally be playing him all over again. Over and over again until I can't stop. But then there's some of these games that just I thought to myself that shouldn't have been created or shouldn't have happened. And those games I'm talking about are the ones that were on the 3DS. Okay, don't get mad with me. Bear with me. I did not really like the 3DS, and I'm going to explain why in this video. Okay, so the first game that I'm going to talk about today is Sonic Boom Fire and Ice. The reason I'm going to talk about that one is because I, for some reason, Shattered Crystals does not work on Citra. So I decided to let um, Fire and Ice do it because then Shadow Crystals would work. So without further ado, let's talk about Sonic Boom Fire and Ice. Okay, so I actually played this game before, if you guys noticed. But I'm honestly thought I'd never get back to it. So I decided to play it for you guys. So, Sonic Boom Fire and Ice is basically a sequel, or should I say, a, yeah, a sequel to the sequel um, from the 3DS. Because the first sequel was Shattered Crystals, which was a sequel to Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric for the 3DS. So this game is basically a sequel for, for uh, Shattered Crystals. And if I'm being honest, it's a pretty good sequel. Oh, it's okay sequel. I won't say it's the best, but it's an okay sequel. It's okay. At least they actually put in the mechanic about the fire and ice, but honestly, do we really need the fire and the ice part? Like, do we really need to change, like, have both elementals there? I honestly think we didn't. We could have just had like a normal Sonic Boom game, but it changes the formula for Sonic a little bit. Like how you got tag team. That is actually pretty, that's actually pretty cool. But honestly, I just, I just always think, why did they make this game? Like, it was not necessary. Like, we already had three Sonic Boom games. Like, what gave them the idea to make a third one? I I just asked that question a lot, because I'm just asking. Don't get mad at me. This is just my opinion, so you could just give off your hate comments if you want. But honestly, it's just an opinion, so you don't have to listen to me. You can click, click off the video. But, um, yeah, Sonic Boom Fire Nice. It's an okay game. I, I would rate it, like, 6 out of 10. It could have been done a lot better. It was the fast, because Sonic's supposed to be fast in this game. He's kind of, like, lost his speed going a lot more slower than he should be, which I think is not good. So, you can hate, comment me all you want, but I honestly don't like the Sonic Boom trilogy that much the tv show was okay for me but the third game was it was something i was not hoping for and i never actually thought this was gonna happen so yeah want updates or do you just want to talk to me or you want to shout out please head over to my discord in the description below it would mean a lot to me also shout out to the blue blur who is um, a part of the 06 project and has been helping me out with my YouTube. Thank you and enjoy the video.
Okay, hope you like that little music montage because now I'm about to crap on the, all over this game. Literally, I was so mad that this game was on the 3DS because this game, I know a lot of people don't like it. Not like they don't like the original. Like the, the 3DS version is not even the actual game. The actual game was on Wii U and PC. I used to have, I still have my Wii U, but it's kind of broken. But I, but I have the PC version, and I don't have a PC. I use Netboom. And if I'm being completely honest, the PC and Wii U version of this game is way better than the 3DS version. Like I don't know why they made a 3DS version of Sonic Cross World. And again, this is my opinion, so you don't have to listen to me at all, literally. This is literally what they did with Sonic Generations, and they and instead, they just decided to add some mechanics. Like, this is literally the first 3D Sonic game that was on the 3DS. Everything else was just 2D, literally. I was just shocked at how was this how this game was the one to be the first 3D. I honestly thought Sonic Generations would be the first 3D, because it's called a 3DS. Get it? Anyway, that's my opinion. That's also why I didn't do Sonic Generations, because that and Sonic Cross World basically have the same story. That's why I decided not to do a 3DS Sonic Generations. Okay, I've had enough of these 3DS games. But um, tell me what you thought of my opinions in the comments or what you think about these 3DS games. And uh, I'll see you guys later on today, actually. Maybe in like 30 minutes, because I'm actually going to start streaming much earlier. So see you later.